Hello everyone and welcome back to another Tech Enthusiast tutorial video and today let's talk about how to customize Google Chrome web browser. First thing you want to do is go ahead to Google Store website and search for Tablis extension. On the right click add to Chrome button and once you did that open up a brand new tab. Now you can see that we can customize new tab page to our liking. So what I recommend is that you go ahead on the top left and click on the gear icon. Under the background section of the tablet extension, click here upload images. Here I will pick my own image which I will also link in video description down below. And once you did that, open up display settings for the image. Here I will add a little bit of blur to the image so the widgets will pop a little bit more. And once you did that, scroll down till you see the widgets. Here I will remove the greeting widget by clicking the bin icon and I will just right now adjust the time widget. Click on the gear icon, scroll down till you see the open display settings and select the position to the top. Now I will scale down a little bit this time widget so it will be a little bit smaller. I think right now it looks good but we still need to add a few more widgets. Add a new widget, here I will select search box widget and scroll down till you see the search box widget. Click on the gear icon once again. You can here pick search provider, whichever you like. I will just leave it at the Google. And right now I'll open up once again, display settings for the search box widget and I will scale it up a little bit. So it will be a little bit bigger. Now I'm fine with that. I will add another widget, which is called the weather. And uh, I will put it down just below the search box. Click on the gear icon, select city or location. I will just type in here London. Click on search and right now you should see your city and the weather for it. You can also select here open display settings and scale it up a little bit as well. I think it already looks good but we still need to add a few more shortcuts. So scroll up a little bit once again, select add a new widget and here I will select quick links. Now scroll down and click on the gear icon on the quick links widget. Scroll down once again, here select the icon for the corresponding uh, website. For example, here I will just type in the YouTube widget and you should see the YouTube icons and now you should add the URL for the YouTube. So if you search for the YouTube, go for the YouTube, add a link to that and put the name as well and you will click here add link. So right now you should add each individual link and the icon for your corresponding website. So here right now I have four links, YouTube, Facebook, GitHub and the Twitter. I will scroll up once again and here I will select number of columns to the four. Basically how much links you already have. So here in this example only four and right now I will scroll down a bit and select here open display settings. I will put this widget or this widget to the bottom of the page and I will scale it up a little bit once again. So it will look something like that and right now I think we are finished with the new tab page. It looks like that. I think it looks quite nice just like on the thumbnail image and right now let's go to the next extension. So the next widget is quite cool if you ask me because it actually preloads the website before you actually click on it. So how do we get it? Open up the Chrome Web Store and search for the faster web widget. Click on it and it should be from developer instant page. Click add to Chrome, add to extension and here basically click on this puzzle icon, click on the three dots, manage the extension. Here you have a few more handy options to actually enable and here I recommend allow in incognito and also allow access to file URLs. So basically right now let me show you a practical example of this widget. So basically if you search for YouTube it should basically preload the website before you click on it. So right now I will open up YouTube and as you can see it open up 
really quickly. And because Google Chrome themes aren't a big thing anymore, we are going to use a feature which is already built in the Google Chrome and I think that many people don't know about and it's called Groups, which will make Google Chrome more visually pleasing. So to create a group, I recommend that you first open up a specific website. Here I will show you an example of social media. So at the bottom I have already this widgets on my new tab page. I will open up all three social media websites. So YouTube, Facebook and the Twitter. Right click on one tab, select here add tab to the new group and then you can basically add a tab to the selected group which is currently called YouTube right now here. And we have all these three tabs in to one simple group. If you click on this, you should see that we have this dot at the top. If you right click, you can name this group and you can also select here a specific color. Basically, I will here select this teal one and then you can add a new tab to the group, ungroup, close group or even move the group to the new window. So right now it looks like that. If you click on this brand new group, you should see that you have opened three tabs in there and I think that more groups you have that the Google Chrome will look even more visually pleasing. So I hope you found this tip quite useful. Next I'm going to show you how to add a really nice blur effect to the mouse cursor when using Google Chrome. So here on this brand new tab page search for Google Chrome Store. Press enter and pick the first link. In the input field on the store, search for cursor blur and pick this one, cursor motion blur. Add to the Chrome, add an extension, and then we must go to the top, select the three dots, select options. And right now at the top, you can see preview area, change the cursor image, cursor width, opacity, and so and so on. And here I will just focus on one thing and this one is cursor width and also the samples. So for example, I will select here something crazy, but I think you should definitely pick something more reasonable or even select this default value. So for example, I will select here 30 and this will make this cursor quite huge. And right now I will select save the changes, but keep in mind that this extension will only work on a few websites. But I think that the majority of the websites are supported. If you go back to the new tab page, search for the Google and then you can clearly see that this cursor isn't working. Why? Because you need to still enable it at the top right here. So currently set on off, click on it and you should see that right now it says here on. So right now you can clearly see how it actually works, this huge cursor. I think you should definitely pick some more reasonable values. Keep in mind that this extension only works on Google Chrome. If I go to my desktop with the cursor, you can see that the cursor is back to the normal. So yeah, really nice extension for your mouse cursor when using Google Chrome. And with that said, thank you for watching till the end. For all the extensions used in this video, I will leave a link in video description. And while you are down there, make sure that you click that subscribe button and like this video for the YouTube algorithm. And you can also buy me a coffee link in video description as well. Have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.